Yeah, well, immediately, uh, as soon as the uh, French said, um, perhaps slightly surprisingly, that they would stop hauliers uh, rather than just uh, passengers, uh, we were in touch with a, a group that's known as the Kent Resilience Forum. They're well used to planning for exactly these kind of circumstances. Uh, we'll be opening up uh, Manston uh, as a uh, as a lorry park uh, today uh, and providing welfare for some of those uh, drivers as well, whilst uh, very close contact with the French uh, over uh, what will happen next. Oh, oh, a long way away at the moment, because, of course, as soon as this happened yesterday, uh, messages were sent out uh, through people like the Road Haulage Association, Logistics UK, to say to hauliers, don't travel to Kent, which is, of course, the key message. Hauliers and everybody else, uh, the border is closed at the moment, so you won't be able to travel across that way. It's probably also worthwhile me, me just setting out the context. Um, the Kent, Dover to Calais, the Eurotunnel, what we call the short straights, is, is probably about... 20% of uh, goods going to and from um, uh, uh, in and out of the country. But it's not um, it's not the mainstay. Most goods actually come in and out by unaccompanied uh, containers, uh, and those will continue to flow. We would have expected perhaps 6,000 lorries just under in Kent today. Uh, they won't be able to cross, but the other crossings remain open. No issue there at all. Uh, most of the vaccine doesn't come via uh, what's called row, row, roll on, roll off, which is what we're talking about here. In other words, it's not usually accompanied by uh, by a driver, by a haulier. It comes on those containers. And I, I just to put this into context, there are about 6,000 vehicles we'd expect just under in Dover today. Uh, probably, uh, I would say 4,000 would have gone uh, across from uh, Dover, just under 2,000 on the Euro Tunnel. Um, but there's probably something like 32,000 units that will uh, would have been the, the daily total. So the vast majority, including uh, virtually all the vaccine, uh, actually comes by container. Uh, and as you say, there are good supplies in the, in the meantime. So this won't have an impact on uh, the vaccination programme. And actually, it's probably worth mentioning because of all of the planning for the end of the transition period, uh, which uh, is the end of the, the month. Um, unusually, of course, we, we actually happen to be ready for a degree of disruption. And we're certainly going to see quite a degree of disruption today. Uh, but that means we've got things like um, the Manston uh, lorry parking uh, available, contingency plans to ensure hauliers are looked after, uh, and other things that the Kent Resilience Forum and others are, have been working on for many, many years. So we're actually, it, we happen to just, for other reasons unrelated to the vaccine, uh, be in the right position to, to take care of things. Yeah, well, immediately, uh, as soon as the uh, French said, um, perhaps slightly surprisingly, that they would stop hauliers uh, rather than just uh, passengers, uh, we were in touch with a, a group that's known as the Kent Resilience Forum. They're well used to planning for exactly these kind of circumstances. Uh, we'll be opening up uh, Manston uh, as a uh, as a lorry park uh, today uh, and providing welfare for some of those uh, drivers as well, whilst uh, very close contact with the French uh, over uh, what will happen next.